Welcome everybody to the um no big deal Judge Grand Prix. Time flies by when you're on F1 2020. It's been I've had it for like literally a few days and I'm already up to um, episode number five. The Dutch Grand Prix. Anyway, um I had to do a mid session save, so that's why I'm doing it here. Starting in twelfth. I'm now in the dark um now it's about lap four when I'm making a beautiful slip move here on Lando Norris for, for P7. So that's so we just taken P7 away from Lando Norris, and now we are in the lead, trying to catch up with Alexander Arnold. Uh, why did I say that uh, too much? I I do football too much. Alexander Album. I say album, but I mean Albon. And um, yeah, um, I was just, it was like this a lot of the time. We have been gaining and losing time to him. He's getting held up by Hamilton, um, getting held up too much, doing mistakes, and then catching back up to Hamilton, getting held up by Hamilton, do more mistakes, catch back up, and yeah, and that's exactly the same as me. I do take some weird lines when I'm going through at this circuit. But before this race, I've had one um, lap of it, um, the, of the Dutch Grand Prix, and five laps of it in reverse. So um, I'm probably more experienced that uh, in reverse than I am um, in um, forwards. But um, yeah, now I've got more laps in now I'm in the race weekend so you might be noticing um, nothing's happening I just need to try to gain as much time as possible and I this is it though I finally came into the pit lane and wait, this is it we're gonna pit for the um, medium tyre and it always does that anyway we're out behind Sebastian Vettel and not that far behind so it's a great pit stop for um, Flabbergast Motorsport there so um, at the end of the lap when you get to it you might know you might or you, you might have not noticed that Hamilton was ahead of Alvin. Now, uh, Hamilton is right there, and now we have passed him. So therefore, we should have passed Alex Alvin, if my, if my, if I am correct. But he's still trying to fight. Although I want to give him, I don't want to waste any time. I might have to trying to defend this. I do want to get a good performance in, but he's not bringing up a good enough fight. I want to, to be honest, I want to get a great performance ahead of one of the um, top three teams or ahead of one of the top six drivers, but um, which I'm doing, but um, you can see Alban was there. Um, I finally, I, Hamilton has been let fast but then he decides to back off for some reason and he's being an idiot and I'm just trying to get him past really without losing too much time which is harder than you think when you're on a similar level AI than what I am on he is on the soft spare in mind and I am on the medium though but finally it made it look like a, a flip of a spectacular overtake there. So, yeah, now uh, Alban is back behind, and this is us. And this is um, Hamilton. And, um, yeah, is anything going to happen? Um, I wonder anything other than that in P6 um, 
No, we finished P6 from P12, get driver of the day, get some decent points up and going for Flabbergast Motorsport. We move up to fifth place in the um, standings. We stay in fifth um, for in the constructors. So, um, yeah, one thing that I haven't done is I know he hasn't scored any points, but Jack Aitken is in P18 um, in the championship. He hasn't scored any points, which is okay. Um, but I've just realised something. There's still three teams that haven't scored a single point and quite a few teams that have had a driver on their team not score any points. Like Williams has Alfa Romeo, Flabbergast Motorsport, which is us. And yeah, that's what's up. It's a good performance for Flabbergast Motorsport. So I wonder if there's anything new that we can customise about our freaky fresh suit or freaky fresh livery or anything that crazy. That's an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Did you struggle to get through all that traffic today? Um, well, it, um, I, uh, um, our power advantage is definitely, must be yeah. They are. I'm really glad I um I can live up to their expectations. Appreciate your time. Uh, thanks. I I don't appreciate yours. Um, yeah. Now let's go to the headquarters, or oh, more or less. We don't manage to get the um, thing that we have for the, he didn't manage to get the go for um, that, um, uh, the, the secondary sponsor. And I think we did for the, I, I wasn't paying attention. Um, so the Spanish Grand Prix is definitely pretty close and I think if we do the power team building it should be pretty good in R&D points we're pretty good um, nothing new on customization however um, we can't change this um, at all can't do change shark. Um, we have quite a bit of money though, so we could necessarily um, if we we could necessarily um, go to the driver market because we have um enough money to get a new F2 driver for our team. Nicholas Latifi, we could possibly get you. But I'm probably trying to save up to get like George Russell or um, Esteban Ocon. Or perhaps save even more money to get like someone like Carlos Sainz or um, Lando Norris. Or someone that could be a real big um, ask. But we could do it and um, perhaps we can get um, Albon or Perez. I think Perez would be a good one for the team to try and achieve. Danny Ricardo. Again, it will be difficult, but um, knowing our team, I reckon we could do it um, um, one day or another. Right, did is that that's Kimmy Viking and smiling? How often do you see that? Um, yeah, nothing new from that race. Um, so that's a bit frustrating. Because it's not exactly what I wanted. But, um. Yeah, um. It is the end of the race. The end of the um, video, I, I should say. Um. And. There's nothing really that I actually need to do much at all, so.
if I can, there's something that I, um, if we go on customization, this is my multiplayer car, and I want to edit the um, sponsored decals. So here I would like to have slingshot um no um i would like to have distort wherever it is distort there here i would like to have um highland if we can get um seven here I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly um um then this door again here at we can and then we finally finish off by um having um wait Venus what you could do is neon, have neon, and that could look cool. But there is one that really stood out, and I think will make the car look really, really cool looking. And if I can find it, I'll be quite happy, because it took me a long time to find, but it looks really cool. So it's definitely nearer less to the front. It kind of like zigs through the thing and it's like, oh there we went past it, there. That is what I call uh, actually a really good sponsor. Okay, I'm going to accept that. Um, gonna change this to um seven and yeah this is my multiplayer car I think no new liveries great to know never wanted better I could I think um This is a car that I would like to have for um, not my um, my team career mode, but um, yeah, for my um, my mode. Next time.